Hey guys, it's Codexual here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Envision Power. Basically, it's a form of social media, uh, aka forums, a community board for people to interact with each other, make posts, and this is for your website. So what I've done is I already downloaded the files that we need to install the social media board here. Um, first thing is you're going to have to buy it. It's not cheap. You can do it with monthly. Uh, I have a self-hosted thing going on. So I already paid for that a long time ago. But let's go ahead and continue on. As soon as you purchase it and uh, have those files it's gonna look like this let me drag it over to the other screen I'll have all these files and this is what we need so we're gonna put this into our file manager on cPanel you can use FTP as well if you know how to use FTP uh, that would be a whole lot quicker for you because what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag and drop this file into our FTP server right there it's going and now we're gonna go to our file manager so right now it's a dot zip on FTP you cannot extract this it's the biggest pain ever but let's go ahead and extract it on our file manager here with cPanel right click extract extract here now it's going to have this directory so we're going to open up the directory we're going to select all and now we're going to move it into our root directory or the uh, www directory or the public underscore html slash directory and we'll go ahead and move that and next thing what we're going to do is go to our website here. So my website is Nalak. Oh, I did not spell that correctly. And we're going to go ahead and this is where we're going to pause for a brief moment. You're going to be creating a MySQL, MySQL username and database. So I already took the liberty of creating such and I took some screenshots because I don't want my database to be shown when I'm um, actually on the cPanel and the username. So if you're using cPanel, just look for the MySQL databases, then create new database, name it whatever you want, put that right there. And we're going to move on to the next. right here is where you're going to add the user so I already added the users so at the bottom says testing null, testing null, so the user and database so as soon as you create your username and your password you can generate it then after that you're going to create the user then you're going to go to the drop down menu on both of them and select the database and the user and click on add the next thing after that is the privileges you gotta make sure all the privileges are checked this basically means this user has the permission to construct deconstruct modify do all types of stuff with the database and you don't want anyone to know this only you unless if you trust someone so now we're gonna go ahead and continue on it says and start the installation everything's green with a check mark that's good if it shows red you're gonna make sure that uh, your hosting company has the um, updated software such as PHP the C URL and so on and so forth if they do not ask them to update that or have it um, have the uh, the minimum specs so the script can run it next thing we're going to do is click on continue this is where it's going to ask for the license key so again you're going to have to purchase it um, I already have my license key so I'm going to go ahead and put that in so just bear with me I, I don't want to publicly display my license key so 
Okay. Now, what we have here, so I put in my license key and it allowed me to pass through. And these are the um, applications. So it has system, calendar, chat, and forums. You want all of these check marked, especially if you want, you know, these functionalities. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And so this is where it's going to get a little bit more advanced. So right now it says host. So at the default, it's local host. Or it's going to be 127.0.0.1. That's still local host. If your um, hosting doesn't do local host and the uh, and they have a the MySQL database onto a different server, you're going to have to get that IP and paste it in here. And as for the username, the password, the database, we're going to go ahead and put in the username and the database that I have for it. So username, database, and the password. Go ahead and just paste that in there. So the port is always going to be 3306. The socket, just leave that blank, leave this blank, and site URL that is automatically populated. Go ahead and click on continue. And this is where you're going to create your information. So obviously I am codexual. Uh, the password uh, doesn't really matter to me. And your email, so codexual at codexual.com or whatever your email is. This is just all an example. We're going to go ahead and click on continue. I don't want to save. And this is going to start setting up the database. This can take some time, but it should be rather quickly here for you. So we're going to go ahead and just pause briefly, and we'll be right back. All right, so after it's done installing, this will pop up, and if anything else pops up, such as any errors, just make sure that you do have the correct specs for this script to install. But if this shows up, then that means you com you successfully completed it. So we're just going to go ahead and just go to our main site. This will pop up and, you know, log in on the top right and all this will show. And we can modify this. I'll show you how into the next video. You're just basically going to go to your administration uh, control panel. But this is for the basic install of the Envision Power Service Community Suit. So stay tuned to the next video and we'll get more, a little bit technical, advanced, and start organizing some stuff. And yeah. And also, if I can ask you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel, also visit nolock.com and just give a shout out and whatnot. Just give me a thumbs up. All right. Thank you. And see you in the next video.